Well, you two are looking very spooky. Yeah. Festive. Wanda Vision. <laughs> what are we? Are we sponsored by Marvel now? Is that what's going on here? I should mention yes. Yes. I shaved. The spookiest so thing I. of all. A booger. Yes. Yeah. What's that pile of sheets? Yeah, what is this over here? Surprise, it's me! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Pizza Pete here. We found a way to get him in. Yeah, we, we did. <laughs> you thought you'd marooned me by cutting me segment, but I find a way off the island. Oh my God, a stowaway. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Surprise again, it's actually me. <laughs> Man serving Matt! Here and ready to eat some treats. First of all, we have to acknowledge the fact we've been seriously dietary. Yes. Yes, everyone here. Yeah. Like all, all four us. people. I mean, yeah. Nina forever. I've lost uh, about 10 pounds in the last month cutting out carbs completely. Yeah, yep. so this is just so This is a great program. time for you to show yeah. up. Yeah, so I brought a spit bucket for us. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. It's 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 how we celebrate Halloween. Yeah. It's one day. We have to come up with a strategy as to what's gonna happen to all this after we're done. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna hear. We used to be able to give it to Matt, but Matt has Yes. Trying to be good. I reserve the right to keep one item. We have to bury it in a hole in your backyard and never speak of it again. We, as usual, went to uh Target for some. Where else did we get some snacks? Uh Whole Foods. But then your favorite fan, Amy Cedar Brown. Sent in a box full of Hooked Halloween us stuff. Yeah. Most of like this half. She said a lot of them from came her. from Michaels. She wants a spin-off, doesn't she? I think that's what she's getting at. Hello, friends. I've missed sending these boxes. I hope you enjoy these fall treats plus a couple of bonus items. Enjoy, Amy. Should we acknowledge the bonus items before we eat the snacks? There's mac and cheese spaghetti. <laughs> Is this like a ramen type? It's huge. We could all sit around it. This is a confusing product to me. I've never seen it before in my life. This thing is amazing. This Look at this cute little thing. What? That is so cute. The forehead on that thing. I like it. I, I think that's super cute. But then, what is this? Another one of these. An Xbox? Xbox Mac. Surprise, here it is, the elusive Halloween fall 2020 pumpkin spice mac and cheese. The accessories in the US version are so much better that you really need to see and have them enjoy. Right. Yeah, cause she was really like after getting us the pumpkin spice last year, they only had a thousand pumpkin spice flavored KD. Indeed. She scoured sellers. Many went for like a thousand dollars. She God. found this one for $45. That's what you could win. And we didn't, but we bought it. Commemorative paper cup. <laughs> this is pretty cheap. Commemorative blue fork. Now, of course, since then we've had those flavor bursts and we've like, it has played yeah. out. Yes. I'm like, done. It's beets. Beets have made it that color. I could just add beets. If you didn't want sugar and other chemicals. Th does the coloring nauseate you? It does, it nauseates you. <laughs> <laughs> but they say, yeah, they send cool stuff. Some sort of hot beverage tumbler. Ooh. With a, with a blue thing. I love it. Oh, it's pumpkin spice theme. But it's designed to look like a disposable cup. Yeah, silicone top. And then as far as I can tell, it's the same old crap. Yeah, besides the very nice pumpkin spice cup. And your little spork. But it's a way better spork. And it's yellow and not blue, actually. There's the pumpkin spice envelope, yeah. How convinced are you that it's a different product? Not. Yeah. Period. Well, someone has dumped a bunch of sweet pumpkin spice into this macaroni and cheese and called it a day. Look, I think this is awesome. I actually think I might legitimately use this cup. Yeah. I think it would be great for tea. I think it's like layer insulated. But. But. We want to eat snacks. Yeah, I want to eat snacks, oh man. Oh boy, do we. I got favorite day maple pecan caramel popcorn. Yep. Do you need some help? Somebody better be bleeding broken or on fire. This is a problem I've been having a lot lately. They like add the zipper thing, but it's useless. Like I'm a grown ass adult and I can't get this open. So you just dig into it below the resealable line. Oh, that's right. We're just throwing it all in the dumpster. <laughs> It's tasty. I like the caramelness. I'd say it's significantly better than, you know those tins you get at Christmas time and they've got the butter, yeah. the cheese, and the caramel? This is way better. Now don't overindulge, uh -huh. cause we've got another caramel apple, apple flavored. Okay. Same exact thing, but apple. Now let's see if you can get it open. Let's see. Oh, it was so hard. I struggled. Listen, the trouble is I ripped it too high up. I know, you need to slash downward with your rip. I gotta tell you, it's super good. I've never had popcorn like it. Ooh, it's good. It's like oh, Apple Jacks. It's got a really nice apple flavor. Oh, yeah. Doesn't taste synthetic. It's all up in my teeth. Let me get more of that. <laughs> it's really good. Get up in them guts. You're starting to think maybe that's the one you keep. No. 
It's so early. You want to be in front of the judges too early because they're like, oh, we can't just like the first one that we have. Exactly. That's the problem. Sticking with the favorite day Target stuff. Rustic pumpkin spice trail mix. Pumpkin spice peanuts, cinnamon flavored pretzel balls, yogurt covered raisins, and pumpkin seed kernels. What do you think it makes it rustic? Pumpkin um, seeds? They made it on dirty equipment. Like an old wooden table with like an oh, anvil. I don't like it. I mean, I don't hate it either, but I'm, I, like, I don't get it. I kind of dig it. You gotta get a little handful. You can't just take one piece. You know, th this kind of thing in Target, it's just like all over the hallway. There's another one. This one I'm excited about because I see Reese's Pieces looking things in there. Yeah. That reminds me, we always have like shitty M&Ms. What the hell's a white candy corn anyway? White chocolate candy corn is what I'm guessing. There's not an M&M. Oh, in I, I'm happy about the lack of M&Ms. Yeah. Contains a bio-engineered food ingredient. Warning! Scarecrow Crunch, peanuts, peanut butter candies, Milk chocolate covered cereal squares, white chocolate oat cereal, and milk chocolate marshmallow bits. All right, it sounds delicious. Sounds very busy. It sounds hectic. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, it's got like the like muddy buddies. Oh hell yeah! Right? Like when you take. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, look at how exciting that this, actually does. This, this oh, cluster yeah. of shit is. When you take Czech cereal and you make like butter and sugar and coat everything in it. It's quite good. It's so good. Dude, chocolate checks guy. White chocolate covered wheat cereal pieces. It's like an unlicensed costume. Yeah. Pumpkin spice almonds. Yeah. White chocolate coating seasoned with pumpkin pie spice and bourbon vanilla bean. Sounds oh. busy. It sounds a bit drunk. <laughs> this smells boozy. It smells, it smells like, boozy? Smell the booze. Whoa, it totally does. It smells like my uncle. Whoa. All right, give me some chocolate booze. I mean, it doesn't taste like alcohol. No, it just smells like it. Um. I'm not that in love with these. I mean, I like almonds. I like that they're the experimenting. The pumpkin spice is nice, and I do appreciate the almond, but it's it's it would be better if it was real almond. Let me let me change your frame of thinking. Sure. Instead of having it for a Halloween or fall snack, mm -hmm. what well, if these were out at Christmas time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Should we save them and bring them back for the <laughs> Christmas snack they, they, tasting? Well, food is about emotion and feeling and sense of place. There's something kind of more nutmeggy. Yeah. Honestly, the bourbon probably is it. It's cold. A man's got to do something, something to keep warm. warm. It's cold. A man's got to do something to keep warm. I'll warm you. That is good. You said Christmas, and now you love them. They've grown on me because of Frankie's an uh, analogy. Just picture Christmas. Sold. It should. I mean, it's worked for Hawkeye. Favorite day. Still in the Target family. Jesus yep. Christ. Fudge-coated pretzels, but candy apple flavored. They're starting to figure apple out. They're yeah, really they pushing have. pumpkin spice out. Oh, yeah. Very apple aroma. Just smacks you right in the face. It's nice. Yeah. It tastes... Like a very fresh apple. Mm. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> oh! oh, now I love them. National Daughter's Day. <laughs> crisp cookies. They've done cookies pretty well before. Caramel apple crisp cookies. You could probably open this one. This looks like a baby one. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. I mean, they smell artificial. Artificial apple. Mm, I don't like them already. I don't like the feel. Essence of uh, dog treat. It's got that same apple that was in the pretzels, but it's stronger, so it's weird. As I eat a little more of it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I, I, I think it's easy to be thrown off by the fact that it's dog treaty. It is dry yeah. and kind of mealy. It had weird texture problems. It's got a really, like, nose to cool. it. Like, gives you, like, a, a nice, like, in the nose, you get a nice apple. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to count these guys out. They're the ones who made those chocolate checks. These are a pumpkin spice, Cream like, roll. roll. I mean... A rolled wafer cookie is one of my all-time favorite cookies. I'm going to have a rolled wafer cookie. Would you like a rolled wafer cookie? Pretty good. I'm not sure I could eat more than like a half of one. The oh. filling's really nice. It tastes like frosting almost. But it's heavy, yeah. It's got it in all the right places. It can't actually have butter in the filling, but it actually tastes like a buttercream frosting, which is pretty good. We'll put the actual Oreos head to head with Whole Foods pumpkin pie sandwich cookie, which is gluten-free and vegan, so. Yeah. You know, I'm a lot more turned off by gluten-free than I am vegan. Well, cause like those Oreos are vegan, so. It's oat flour. Oat flour. Do you think they're intentionally trying to come off as a Girl Scout cookie? Kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Oh, goody girl. I honestly can't tell it's gluten free, which is good. This is Nina's first attempt at eating. <laughs> Ever. I think the filling is is tasty, but not high quality, but the cookie itself is pretty high quality. Let me tell you, as someone who never eats this stuff anymore, I'm having a, a grand old time. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen these in stores. I don't know where Amy found them. Apple cider donut Oreos. I'm wow. so, Super stoked. Apple cider donut, donut Oreos. Oreos. Fully gluten. I don't know what gluten is, <laughs> but it needs gluten. She said, well, do you eat a lot of gluten? <laughs> I don't know what gluten is, but I would say yes. I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm mostly gluten. 
Oh, they do have a strong scent. Well, I'm getting the apple cider big time. Mm -hmm. After the apple cider, you get the donut powder sugar, absolutely. I love it, I'm in love. We've got the Chewy Halloween Minis in the classroom party pack. I picked these up, I insisted. I was an executive consumer of chewy granola bars when I was So a you can yes, tell if the quality has declined. It's got John's thing where you can either go like that or like, or like that. that. John, yeah. it's got your thing. For one thing, it's like falling apart right out yeah, of the package. Yeah, for something that's designed for little kids, it's awfully crumbly. I'm not getting like anything other than like bland granola. Why is it staying together? Why is it falling to bits? It's a corpse falling to bits. Then I opened my eyes and the chewy was me! Let's do Matt's expensive chocolate. We were wandering around Whole Foods and I saw this tiny little Package of chocolates on the shelf. I said, Daddy, can we please get this? Dad, can we get one of these? Okay. All right, thank you, Dad. <laughs> Not thinking that it would be $12. For how many pieces? Well, like, is it a dollar a piece? Yeah. <laughs> Lake Champlain, organic milk chocolate caramel. It says something bizarre on the back, like a hidden ribbon of caramel. I'm like, you didn't hide it. It's right <laughs> in the name on the front. Unless I like, I bite into it and I don't find the ribbon, but, but you I taste, taste the it? ribbon. Now that would be impressive. They are actually shaped like leaves, which is above and beyond what Dove did. They're just dark chocolate Dove candies, but they're not even shaped like pumpkins. They have a, a graph. They have a graphic, <laughs> graphic of, of a pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, that is the <laughs> least effort they could yeah. possibly. Try our new limited effort. <laughs> now with less effort. Uh, there's nothing hidden about the layer, first of all. <laughs> it's just right out there on it's Front so Street. Sweet. It's like all salt. Why the hell did we buy this for Ooh, Halloween? Oh, it's weird. <laughs> this doesn't meet the criteria. All right, the whole thing is just gonna go right, all right. in the split bucket. No, $12 you know, dollars of chocolate, you find someone else to eat. Yeah, I don't like it. It's too salty. The yeah, caramel is, is weirdly salty. The chocolate's nice. It's good milk chocolate. $12. Why is there salt. so much of the caramel? Nothing hidden about this caramel at all. You can find it in the dark of the night. Nina's got another snack. Pumpkin spice coconut butter cups. Mm. So not peanut butter. Sounds good, right? We went with these pumpkin spice coconut butter cups for a snack tasting later. I'm sure. excited. Paleo and vegan, and on the back it says chocolate. It's a food, not a candy. I do kind of agree with that in some ways. <laughs> you don't have chocolate for dinner. <laughs> no, I actually, chocolate is a part of my, my food plan, but it's yeah. also 90% Cocoa chocolate, which right. doesn't taste like chocolate. Yeah. Super dark chocolate, which I am here for. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on here that I don't like. Yeah, oh. I'll say. Sugarless chocolate that tastes like dirt. As a, con <laughs> As a connoisseur of dark chocolate, let me just try the chocolate. Chocolate. Doc chocolate. chocolate. I'm gonna move this to Nina's pile. <laughs> yeah, you, really? you go ahead and take those home. I the, I am wow. not at risk of snacking on that. Oh, Nina, I don't like <laughs> it. I don't like it at all. Oh. Oh, Nina, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nina. Oh, Nina. Coconut and pumpkin spice don't go together. It's made my nose run for some reason. <laughs> Do you need medical attention? They make yours Nina. run too? <laughs> what is wrong with Mine the Mine is product? fine. I wasn't going to oh, say it. Nina. Why is it clearing my sinuses? <laughs> You Could you get me a tissue, please? Sure. I know, what the hell is going on here? You're barking at Matt about your sinuses. No, it's not his well, fault. Well, you can at least get me a tissue. Give you nasal diarrhea. God, I don't understand why. Yeah. I got the duck chocolate. Because I like Jeez. it. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin spice came yeah. up through my nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a, a cartridge for a neti pot. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> we all oomed and odd when we saw this in the uh, supermarket. Yeah, Let's un ooh and un ah. I'm going to ooh and ah a little bit more. You like it? You even like the 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 sinus. the sinus clearing effect. Organic pumpkin spice, which is made up of ginger. It's the ginger. It's a ginger, that's what Nutmeg oh. and clove and clove. Wasabi. Pumpkin spice latte truffle. It's milk chocolate. Pumpkin and espresso are infused into Maybe. a truffle center and are complemented by natural pumpkin spice spices. Okay. Delicious, it says. So this is gonna taste like uh, coffee. Okay, smells pretty nice. No, I, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. First of all, the cho I don't think the chocolate's very good. Second of all, maybe I'm just not a latte guy. I don't want any more of this. Gross. <laughs> hey, you know what I do want? Scarecrow crunch. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We're about to move on to Jed's maple cotton candy. Well, let me, I need to cleanse my palate with some scarecrow crunch, Nina. Surely you'll understand. What the? Maple, I like it when you guys have to eat cotton candy. Two ingredients, okay. cane sugar, and organic maple sugar. Last year, it really, do you remember it actually felt like and tasted like insulation? Yes. This feels like insulation. That was called like fluffy stuff or something? Yeah, oh my God, it's the same crap. I'm eating fiberglass insulation. I mean, it is tasty. If it was on a stick, would you feel more comfortable eating it? Yeah. I actually like the natural mapleness of it. I'm not a huge fan of cotton candy because it is just sugar. The pure next sugar. pure sugar yeah. treat, Peeps Pumpkin. I anticipate I'm not gonna care for this. 
You don't like peeps, probably. Well, this is probably gonna be like yeah, thick yeah. and dense, and that was very light and airy. Yeah. Three little pumpkins sitting in a bed. One fell off, and the others are dead. How did the other two die because the one fell off? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a peep. I don't need Spit to take a second bite. Yeah, but it's very festive. Exactly. I really don't need a big lump of, you know. So this is also from Amy. Dolish cookie dough. Edible raw cookie dough. This is the pumpkin spice one. And it's got an adorable little mummy holding a pumpkin on yeah. the front. And it's got this cute little pot. It's very likely I'm going to enjoy this. It's cookie dough. I don't care for synthetic cookie dough. I like real cookie dough. I've had synthetic cookie dough from uh, this bakery. And that stuff is way better than this stuff. Yeah, this is very chemically. It's got a lot of shortening in it, vegetable shortening. Yeah. Matthew, that's gross. But you didn't yeah. even like it at all. Candy corn flavored red vines. The red vines are like Twizzlers. I've seen the ingredients. They smell like candy corn. Not to relitigate the candy corn issue. I, I had some candy corn like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And I was like, hell, I like candy corn. You're crazy. I don't like Not that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still in this. Three X's. We're just waiting for the last one. Yeah. I like Come this new on. system. It's oh, yeah. just plain bad. Oh, I'm getting it now. It's gross. It tastes burnt. Oh yeah. Ah, bleh, something yeah. happened. <laughs> so this is Nerds candy corn. They're huge. They're like Nerds except enormous. They've got a candy shell outside and a soft, chewy inside. Jesus. You did, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a reason Nerds are teeny. Holy. Mother of mercy. These are nerds you chew on. Did you try one yet? No, they got gelatin in them. I went into it like a fing m, m There hasn't been anything that's been too sweet. It's too sweet. All right. Yeah, Get it out of here. Is. I got it out of the sweet. Right, well, you can drink now. To follow up the sweet, we'll do the sour punch straws. Spooky straws, apple, grape, and tangerine. I personally love sour straws. I'm going for a tangerine. The size of a tangerine. Tangerine. What's green? Apple green? Yep. Ooh, it's very sour. I freaking love them. Nina goes for this sort of thing mm. when we go to like convenience stores. Yeah, it's not really for me, but I can see the appeal. There's nothing wrong with it. No, those red vine ones had something wrong about them. There's something wrong with them. Something very, very wrong with them. One. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Every classroom has a kid with a sour allergy. <laughs> Skittles shriekers. Some are so sour they will make you shriek. Some oh. are? Some. So I could eat the whole bag and get none? Okay, there's ghoulish green apple, rattled raspberry, spine tingling tangerine, citrus scream, and shocking lime. How about people who care what color M&M &M they get? Like it matters. Yeah. Don't we all know that they're all the same thing? Now, how many are gonna have to eat to get a really sup, a really? The yellow was very sour. I'm already an expert on these sour Skittles. Well, it's not sour. Wait a minute. I'm is barely... it, but is it just some of them that are sour? I've had like four that weren't sour. I had one that was super sour. It was randomized. I got a real sour one just now, but it wasn't that sour. I'm not a Skittles guy, I'll tell you. These are Halloween candy buttons, ghostly grape and screaming orange cream. How do you feel about these with regard to eating a little paper? I hate them. With the packaging still attached? Yeah, the orange cream flavor is, nice. is good. Around Halloween time, they could afford to do a little more with the orange cream. Yeah. I'm with you. Whatever happened to the, to the classic orange creamsicle? People still go for that? Because that still was still around, but I don't think it's what it used to be. Oh, the creamsicle ain't what it used, used to be. be. It ain't what it used to be. Is that it? That's it. All right, back to the scarecrow. Yeah, back crunch. to the scarecrow crunch. I'm taking home the sour punch. I'm taking home the coconut butter. The nasal one. <laughs> yeah, Scarecrow Crunch by a long shot. Yep. And then anything from Favorite Day that tasted like apple was pretty awesome. Everything was good until the candy at the end, but you kind of know that was That candy. was like half the segment, John. Yeah, more than. The candy at the end. The, the latter 70% of the show. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Target, your, your game is, is on the ball for good, for good. You've got a good partner there in Favorite Day. Yeah. And keep up the good work. Yeah, don't make them happy. Do you remember when we were at the first studio and we did the very first one of these with cereal and you shot it and Gloria was just a baby? And she fell asleep in her high chair. Aww. Here we are with hundreds of pounds of weight loss. Yep. Still doing it. Still doing it. For you, the people. If I see any funny business, I am going to magic you into a pickled herring.